vicious Colombian cartel. This cop, more trouble than we expected. Do what he takes. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 action film The Island. The film is directed by Sean Paul Picchino and it stars Michael J. White, Gillian White, Jackson Rathbone and Eduardo Costa. Now the film focuses on Michael J. White's character who is an LAPD police officer um, who essentially has to go back to the island he grew up on it's like a caribbean island it doesn't specify where um after he learns about the death of his brother now his brother is killed at the hands of the um gangster who runs the island it's the usual scenario you've got this powerful gangster who has taken over the island and runs pretty much everything there now um and he feels like he's untouchable basically However, when Michael J. White gets there, he's intent on finding out what happened with his brother and immediately smells a rat and intends on seeking his revenge. Right, what are my thoughts on the island? Well, Michael J. White, as as we will all be aware, if you if you are aware of who Michael J. White is, has been churning out, you know, pretty middling, but... Fairly entertaining action flicks now for a number of years. Uh, is a legitimate martial artist, um, and for the most part, his action films are pretty entertaining. Um, they never really go anywhere above that sort of thing. They're never really memorable or special, but certainly entertaining. Um, <clears throat> um, and this one is pretty much no exception. To that really there are moments in this film that are pretty entertaining uh there's some pretty standard action scenes you know you get to see michael j white doing his martial arts um you get to see michael j white taking down gangs all this kind of stuff but this film beyond that is is exactly what you would think it would be you know uh, whenever you read a synopsis on a film or you read a plot outline on a film and then you kind of picture in your head what the film's going to be how it's going to look what to expect in it that's what you get here with this film no surprises very predictable um but that doesn't necessarily make this a, a bad film I, I i wouldn't describe this as a bad film if you're certainly a fan of michael j y and you like these type of action films there will be something here for you to enjoy um if you're going into this film with high expectations and expecting to watch something, you know, really cool and quite original, you know, with some really special moments and all that kind of stuff, you're going to be probably definitely come away disappointed. There's nothing stand out here, um, but it's a pretty competent revenge tale, I suppose. Um, Interestingly as well, Michael J. White stars with his real-life wife, Gillian White, who plays his ex-partner, who is like the martial arts instructor on this island. Um, and they're kind of estranged, but they kind of, you know, reconnect while they're back on the island. Didn't realise that they were married in real life until I was, till after I'd seen the film. Um, because I was going to comment that, you know, there was some real chemistry there. <laughs> goes without saying it'd be a bit worrying if there was a husband and wife on screen together and there wasn't much chemistry um i actually thought that was one of the things that definitely worked in this film um their scenes together and their moments together i thought were, were pretty good uh it didn't add a massive amount to the film but it was good and then you've got jackson rathbone who gets second billing here I don't really know who Jackson Rathbone is, but he gets second billing. Who plays Michael J. White's partner in L.A. Um, you see him at the beginning of the film, and you see him at the end of the film. And he's really nothing more than the light relief, the comedy, I suppose. He's one of those wise-cracking partners sort of thing. Um, the film didn't need him in my opinion didn't need that character i think they could have gone i mean other than his appearance at the beginning when he's playing his partner in la um beyond that we didn't need to see the character i'm sure they could have found a different way it's also predictable in the sense of you've got like um wayne gordon plays like the chief of police on this island 
and um, is you know it's one of those scenarios where the police you know don't have enough resources to investigate this or fight back against this gangster Manuel, um, and you know what you think is going to happen to that chief of the police is pretty much exactly what happens to that chief of police. And Eduardo Costa, who plays this gangster who thinks is invincible, you get to learn very early on that he is somebody that is not to be trifled with. Um, there's a fairly effective scene to start the film where you see like a singer that has been brung out, brung out to sing for him. He's very, very much um, enraptured by her. You know, after the song, she sits down, he offers us a drink, all that kind of stuff. And and then the waiter comes up and spills a drink on her. What happens next is pretty shocking and brutal. Uh, and it, number one, it sets the film up because that's the brother of Michael J. White. And number two, it lets you know that this uh, Manuel character is brutal and a little bit overreacting I suppose he does that all the time in this film I mean it's, it's quite a pantomime performance by him every time somebody kind of lets him down or doesn't do the job properly God help I don't know how he employs anybody to be honest because the minute anyone lets him down they are dead no matter who it is and you see it over and over in this film anybody who doesn't do the job properly whether it be kill Michael J. White or spill wine on somebody or try and keep somebody in a hotel room that sh you know so they can't get off the island if they don't do the job they are dead so how on earth this man ever employs anybody is completely beyond me because i don't understand it but it's quite amusing um and it is probably the most memorable performance in the film uh, eduardo costa only because it's so over the top and ridiculous really and quite pantomime but it does make us a fairly memorable villain, I suppose. So this is again one of those films with plot with a plot that is very easy to follow. There's no complex plot lines. It is exactly what it pretends to be. Um, it's competently made, and there's nothing in it that's memorable. There's nothing in it that's outstanding. Michael J. White can kind of do this kind of performance in this role in his sleep now. Uh, but you know I, I watched it all i never really felt, felt bored it wasn't too long uh, it went along at a nice pace it wasn't too long in between scenes before you got the next action scene um, but d just don't go into this film with high expectations and you won't come out of it disappointed go into it expecting exactly what you're going to get which is a middling action film made for a specific market um, and fans have certainly this type of action film on Michael J. White will probably come away with it fairly happy. Everyone else, probably avoid, I would suggest so. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.